Emotions running high tonight outside the Academy Tavern in Cleveland. A night after police say a 23-year-old cook at the restaurant was stabbed and killed by one of his co-workers. I stand here minus a son because of something that it didn't even have to be so. I just ask everybody to pray for me. Family and friends lit candles tonight in Michael Reese's honor. News 5's Taylor DeHayes was there and shows us how his loved ones are remembering his life. An outpouring of support tonight as dozens gathered to celebrate the life of a young man taken too soon. Friends, family, community. This is the most senseless thing. Gathering outside of the Academy Tavern Sunday night. I love him. I'm, I, w I was very proud of my son. Lighting candles in honor of a young man Pamela Woodall says was the light of her life and stabbed to death by a co-worker. My son was a very good young man. He was loving, caring, giving. Everyone that knew him loved him. Officers responded to the call just after 8.30 last night. Police say they found Michael Reese bleeding and took him to University Hospital where he died. Reese's mother says the nightmare started when she called the owner of the Academy Tavern, who told her Mikey was bleeding badly and probably wouldn't make it. She calls the violence that unfolded at the restaurant last night senseless. My son is gone, you know, no remorse. You know, you can't take it back. Whatever the argument in that kitchen was last night, <laughs> it could have been settled. Reese's mother tells us her son should never have been at the restaurant last night. She says he was sick that day and tried to get him to stay home from work. I told him stay home and he said, Ma, I got to go take care of my kitchen. We do know from police 27 year old Jeremy Calloway had cuts on his leg and was taken into custody and 24 year old Omar Calloway had a shoulder injury and was also arrested. I just wish he would have stayed home. I wish he would have stayed home. Cleveland police are still investigating in Cleveland. Taylor DeHayes News 5.